Human activities have the potential to change the environment and the way in which we live in a radical manner. The emission of greenhouse gases and wanton destruction of forests result in climate change. Climate change is a reality, with its impacts already visible, and it will only intensify if left unattended. Climate change is threatening humanity's basic elements of life, such as access to water, food production, health and the use of land and the environment. It is viewed as a truly global issue. The location of greenhouse gas emissions is relatively unimportant for climate change effects. Climate change is not just taking place in one specific country or one specific region, but in every country and region across the globe. The entire world population is under the threat of climate change. However, the impacts of climate change are not evenly distributed since the poorest states and their citizens are most vulnerable to the effects of climate change. The consequences of climate change are irreversible. Adaptation is accordingly vital. The problem is that especially the most vulnerable countries do not possess the required capacity and resources to adapt. It is therefore important that all states rich and poor alike, cooperate and respond to the threats of climate change in order to mitigate the causes thereof and ensure adaptation. It is important to understand the links between climate change adaptation and disaster risk reduction. Let us first reflect on a definition of disaster reduction. The United Nations International Strategy for Disaster Reduction defines disaster reduction as follows. The conceptual framework of elements considered with the possibilities to minimize vulnerabilities and disaster risks throughout a society to avoid prevention or to limit mitigation and preparedness the adverse impacts of hazards within the broad context of sustainable development. Disaster reduction is tailor-made to help counteract the added risks associated with global climate change. In order for climate change policies and measures to be efficient and effective, they must therefore build on and expand existing efforts aimed at disaster risk reduction. The long-standing contributions of disaster-related work to dealing with long-term changes to the climate may provide valuable lessons to the CCA community. It is therefore important for the climate change and disaster management communities to work together in addressing the threats of climate change. A more integrated approach can result in a reduction of climate-related losses. It is urgent to cooperate pursuant to sustainable development in order to increase the resilience of the vulnerable to the risks of climate change. At stake is the survival of humankind.